Hello lovely people and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's Pico card reading we are going to take a look at who is your next partner. This reading is for all the singles out there. So yeah, um, if you don't know how Pico card readings work, I'm just going to quickly explain. So here there's three piles that you can choose from. This is pile number one with the rose quartz crystal, pile number two with the green fluoride crystal, and here we have pile number three with the beautiful amethyst crystal. Make sure to choose from your intuition. You can meditate over the piles. Um, you can pause the video if you need a little bit more time. So take a deep breath and choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to. And after you're done choosing, you can scroll down into the description box where I'm going to leave all the timestamps. So you can just click on it and it's going to get you right to your reading. All right. So yeah, let's get started. Hello everyone who picked pile number one. This is your reading for everyone who chose the rose quartz crystal. So yeah, let's get started. Hi pile number one, this is going to be your reading. So yeah, um, what I'm seeing here for you is that the next person you're going to um, be in a relationship with is having a very good um, working type of personality. Yeah, there are someone who is very hard working. There are someone who is having a lot of willpower and determination they are just like trying to make things happen yeah they're not just waiting around um for things just to happen for themselves or like something to fall from the sky no they're really actively um working on their goals and their yeah their dreams um and they have a lot of um, things that they aspire to yeah um, they have a lot of plans for their life and they are really putting in the work to make those happen um, they seem like a very organized person someone who uh, likes to see things from afar yeah before they happen so if they are trying to make a decision or there's a situation that they need to get into they are the kind of person who are going to think of every possible outcome and they're going to try to come up with a solution for each of those outcomes yeah because they don't like to be um taken by surprise they are really willing to have um yeah like a solution and be well prepared for any thing that might happen yeah um and they really look far into the future. I see them being the kind of person who um, is kind of constantly thinking about the future and what's going to happen. Um, maybe they're overthinking a lot, but also they're looking at what they want to achieve. They're always, um, yeah, like thinking about like, what's next? What's the next plan I'm working towards? Um, which is a good thing, but sometimes, um, maybe they're gonna lack some of that um, being present thing yeah but overall um, because they're so much in the future and and focused on their plans they are very um, it comes yeah it comes from their driven personality it comes from them having that determination and and wanting so many things to achieve throughout their lives yeah they are looking uh, to um, they're looking forward to achieve a lot of things and they aspire to a lot um, of things into their life and they're just not waiting around for things to just come from the sky they are really really willing to put in the work and they're very good at manifesting things in general and I'm seeing especially they're very good at manifesting financial abundance they are someone who is just really good at making money yeah they have a great mind at coming up with ideas um of businesses or just like things that is going to bring them some money um and maybe yeah like just financial abundance is one of the things that uh, really motivates them yeah it's someone that they're really focused on and they they just want like um a wealthy lifestyle but not necessarily that but they just want to have um yeah comfort in their life and they want to be able to provide maybe one day and just just like live a comfortable material life and this there's really nothing wrong with that um since they're so 
um, willing to put in the work. They are not expecting uh, for a shortcut. They are just like working, working, yeah, putting all their um, energy and actively working towards their goals and their financial stability. And I'm seeing here a lot of like positive um, vibration, um, positive energy, yeah, like um, from this reading um, with a lot of yellow and a lot of like flowers and nature and yeah, and maybe this is helping them manifest um, because they try to keep themselves in such a high vibration energy and they just don't take no as an answer i guess from like universe or like from life they're just like you know what if i want this i'm going to make it happen i'm going to like literally um make anything i aspire to happen yeah into reality and yeah it's quite admirable um the level of determination and willpower that they have where it comes to being in a relationship um this person is not going to give up easily on you whatsoever um i see here yeah with eight of pentacles um someone who is going to be willing to put in the work um no matter how difficult things will get they are trying to make things um better and they're trying to just like make things work yeah come up with ideas with solutions for um for making this relationship be better and and healthier and work properly yeah um which is which is a really good thing because yeah having someone who is going to give up so easily on a connection it, it's quite um it can be quite um stressful yeah and can give a lot of anxiety because it gives you that feeling that that person might just like leave anytime whereas them are going to give that sense of stability that sense of um foundation a strong foundation if and um someone who is not gonna just give up easily yeah they are not scared of um yeah of challenges that a relationship might um might bring yeah or like life might bring in for them for you as a couple yeah this beautiful card milk and honey is such a great um energy and such a beautiful image as well with the um rainbow and like the milk and honey is all about sweetness and abundance and just trying to be really um affectionate yeah so they 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 are someone who is really affectionate um physically as well yeah in a relationship there's a lot of sensuality um and and passion in this person's personality um when it comes to being in a relationship um yeah in romantic relationships um they like having a lot of sweet moments um and they like to be very open yeah um emotionally and they just like expressing all their feelings and being very romantic and very um just like open and and sweet and yeah they they like all that they they're not the kind of person who is um just like more serious or like more um yeah just like oh I find that uh, those things too sweet or too um, yeah like awkward or like no they're the kind of person who is going to express their um, affection for you physically in public as well it doesn't matter uh, for them they're not feeling closed yeah emotionally at all they just like want to um, wrap you in all the beautiful and sweet um, talk and sweet um, affectionate um, acts yeah they might be very romantic they might uh, bring a lot of like gifts and like small things uh, that will make you see how much they care about you and how much um, they love you and also um, yeah like showing and also they're going to show you um, in many ways their passion for you and how much they are attracted physically 
yeah as well to you um there's going to be a lot of sensuality into this connection and this card also uh describes someone who has a lot of taste for prosperity yeah um for abundance um as i said uh, this person really is good at manifesting financial abundance and like material wealth in general but also it's gonna bring a lot of abundance um and nurturing yeah um energy into the connection as well um due to them being so sweet and just like gentle yeah and and so so like expressive yeah through their um, personality through the way they talk through the way they are like um, engaging into like either conversations with you but like also romantic like touches and the message i'm getting from this reading is them having the love language of physical touch yeah they're just very touchy person someone who is very cuddly and love all the sweet things yeah um in order to just like interact with you um, as a couple and i'm seeing here with these two cards um clean it up and transformation them going through uh yeah like literally a transformation like um a new chapter um something like a transition yeah something changing um and something that they need to clean up um maybe going into a relationship with you is going to bring them through a transformation or at the moment they are going through a transformation maybe they're trying to let some things in the past yeah clean up this is all about um just letting go of what's no longer serving letting go of the past letting go of people and situations that are just like not longer serving you so yeah this card also says things are changing at a cellular level deep healing so i'm assuming they're going through a healing process um maybe the advice from this reading is that in order to get into a connection um they are going to um get through a healing process and let the past behind in order to be able to open up to you um yeah mm, let's see the last three oracle oracle cards sorry so we have here pay attention to the red flags sorry we also have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life and last but not least we have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others all right so i'm seeing here that this person that you're gonna have your next relationship with might be someone who you already been together with um someone from the past and the energy and the uh, the energy here is that this is going to be a reconciliation between the two of you um this person from the past is going to return to you and yeah so i'm assuming that this whole connection is going through a transformation yeah there's things to be cleaned up um yeah maybe from the past things that didn't work and now they're working towards becoming a better person um for you and for this relationship um, we have here pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you um so maybe there were like red flags yeah in the past and things that led to you to um have a bit of a break um because things weren't going into a great direction i guess and this um this break yeah this pause in this connection has been really helpful to them to realize what they need to work on to and um yeah like what they need to uh, clean up what they need to heal and they are really doing the healing process at the moment they're going through that transformation um and reconciliation is coming for you guys um 
and here with the flirt card um i'm guessing that they are are going to get more into um yeah that inner affectionate side of them um maybe they've been too too focused on their work and maybe um they've lost touch yeah with their inner um flirty uh, affectionate side because they are someone who are very sweet and someone who are very nourishing people and they are just like super flirty and and just like affectionate overall but maybe they lost touch with that side of them um and they are going through a healing process they are going through a transformation they're they're really um shifting their perspectives over things and i guess like being more flirty is what's going to help them get closer to you yeah and get back to this um reconciliation um okay so this is all i have for you pile number one i really hope you enjoyed the reading if you did make sure to hit like and subscribe um for more readings in the future also don't forget to click onto the notification bell to be the first one to know every single time i'm posting a new video i'm also encouraging my viewers to kindly just like leave a comment down below because it's really helping support and grow my channel and that means the world to me and yeah, it was lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone who chose pile number two, this is going to be your reading. So welcome to everyone who chose the green fluoride crystal. So yeah, let's begin. So hi pile number two, this is your reading. So yeah, what I'm seeing here for you is that the person you're going to have your next relationship with is going to be... um. A very important and meaningful um, step in your journey yeah this next person is going to make you feel like life is amazing they're going to make you feel like you're the happiest you've ever been um, that life is absolutely beautiful with them and that they brought you all the happiness and joy in the world yeah you're going to feel complete with them um, they are going to make you feel like you found your soulmate and that you found the one person you're willing to spend the rest of your life with. Yeah, we see here the beautiful rainbow with all the ten cups and all the joy and abundance. So basically, this person is gonna make you feel like you've found the one, okay? But with that being said, there is a little bit of a twist in this um connection because there's going to be a toxicity that's going to make things um yeah fall apart with this particular person so something is gonna happen yeah like someone is going to be very very um possessive very controlling yeah it's not going to be like boom like like the tower yeah like one thing that's going to um, break everything and shatter the relationship no no in this situation things are going to come um slowly but surely yeah they're going to come um step by step and the toxicity is going to make you slowly that this connection is going to become toxic for you as well and that this connection is not no longer going to feel like how it used to like um you belong there like this person is you're the one yeah like the person is your soulmate and that they brought all the happiness and joy it's slowly um step by step going to feel more like it's weighing you down and it, it sucks all the positivity from you and all the energy from you um this person is someone who um is not very open emotionally um as they're not very much um in tune with their own feelings they are someone who are very mature very um smart yeah but they are a little bit too caught up into their head and they they think way too much with their um with their headspace yeah they are going to be very direct and they're going to be a very um controlling as well 
Um, and when I mean they are going to be very direct, that's not a bad thing, you know, they, they are, um, at least they're honest, yeah, and they're like sincere. Um, and I see here them having real feelings for you, but with that being said, they're not someone who can be vulnerable, yeah? I feel like this person thinks that being vulnerable, it, it requires too much, yeah, of them. And maybe they, they didn't get the chance to actually get to know their, um, to explore, yeah, their own way of feeling and having, um, yeah, like experiencing life through their emotions. And they're not really understanding how their own emotions work. And, um, yeah, as I said, they are someone who is smart and someone who is mature and someone who who is going to give you that stability yeah in a relationship someone who is going to um be there for you and they they are like a rock yeah like a like a stable rock that it's going to help you um and support you yeah that's that's why it's going to even make you feel so um supported and happy and joyful in this connection and their feelings are real and you're going to feel loved for real but at the same time due to this person's absence of um, or lack yeah of emotional maybe intelligence or like not necessarily emotional intelligence but just like something yeah maybe it's their own wounds and trauma from the past that didn't allow them to um, be so in tune with their own feelings and emotions and they can't really express in, a, in an open and vulnerable manner um, because of that maybe communication between the two of you is going to erode yeah and it's going to lead to a lot of toxicity and a lot of um, situations where you two can't really communicate and you can't really understand each other and as I said this person is honest but they're a little bit too direct to the point where they can be harsh um, of how direct they can be um, they are very straightforward people and um, they do communicate but in a very very straightforward manner and um more so from the practical uh, side of things yeah they 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 see things from a practical uh point of view and they don't pay too much attention to um the emotional part of things which can be a little bit of um yeah a little bit of an issue between the two of you maybe that's just going to bring like it's going to raise some issues because there's not going to be a complete um and healthy communication in what i'm seeing and also this person is being very confident in themselves but also they have like a lot of authority yeah they they like to be respected yeah and I feel like their own personality is as someone who is a little bit too possessive, someone who is a little bit too controlling and likes things to be done in their own way. I don't see um, a lot of flexibility in their personality. Yeah, there's someone who are, are like stable as a rock, but also not so flexible. Yeah. And um, things are moving quite slow with them. They're taking a long time when it comes to making decisions, when it comes to um, processing, yeah, their feelings and like um, expressing how they feel or like saying sorry, maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'm seeing, I'm hearing that, yeah, like feeling um, hard, yeah, like it's hard to say sorry and apologize and yeah, things are going to uh, move very slowly, so I feel like overall this connection is going to be a very meaningful one and even though in the beginning it might feel like it's that relationship yeah of your lifetime um and afterwards you realize that it's actually not this relationship it's still important in your life because it's a relationship that's going to teach you a lot it's going to teach you a life lesson is going to help you grow as a person all right it's like a karmic relationship yeah 
It's going to help you um, grow as a person overall and learn a lot about yourself and about what you really want in a relationship and about how um, you want things and communication to be in a relationship, yeah? So overall, it's going to bring you a lot of wisdom and lessons, yeah, to learn. Because I see here, um, these three cards we have come to the edge this is about risking, this is about um, taking a leap of faith. Yeah, so maybe uh, breaking up with this person eventually is going to feel like it's a leap of faith because this relationship is going to feel so meaningful to you and it's going to feel so important for you. Maybe it's going to be really hard to let this person go. But I see here that after a period of time, yeah, you're going to feel like it's time to let go. We have here time to go. So you will decide that this person um, was just like another another step yeah, in your journey, another chapter yeah, in your journey. And maybe it's going to feel really hard to let go, but eventually you will decide this. And... Here we have the initiation, yeah? This is about learning through hardships. Learning through um, things that, are, like situations that are not the easiest, but it makes you um, understand a lot more about yourself and about the world and about people. And it's, it's you deciding to go on to the next chapter. Yeah, these three cards are actually all kind of meaning the same thing which is letting go of what's no longer serving of experiences people situation that are just like not bringing any value to you anymore and um risking yeah taking the risk taking that leap of faith yeah of doing what's best for you eventually and here we have um initiating yeah in a new chapter of your life um but you reach to that decision by going through some hardships that are teaching you a lot about just like yourself and 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 that person yeah and also about like relationships in general you know every relationship we're going to have is going to teach us a lot and there's a lot of value to take from that um, and meaning if we're looking for it and I know I'm telling you that you're gonna have a relationship and this relationship yeah might um, end but at the end of the day every relationship can be a, a good lesson yeah it's a good lesson for your life for yourself yeah and this is what this whole uh, reading is about it's about some sort of karmic relationship, yeah, where you two are going to meet, you're going to have a beautiful relationship, yeah, or and then you're going to have certain issues that are going to um, help you understand a lot. You know, this is just like general energies, but at the end of the day, people can um, make their own decisions, yeah. So you you have free will. You can leave this person or you cannot, yeah? You can just, like, keep trying or maybe this person um, is going to have a different attitude, yeah? And maybe they, they're willing to um, make things better. So you never know, but these are the energies, yeah, for this reading. These are the general um, energies. Um, next, we have the last three of the Oracle cards. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, because of so much toxicity, yeah, or um, so many things not going well between the two of you, I guess the attraction is going to um, vanish and um, it's going to make and it's going to push you, yeah, basically um, to look to the next chapter of your life um, and leave this person behind because attraction um, yeah it's hard to maintain um, if there's not healthy communication and affection and yeah 
Then we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this is like an advice to probably um, either save this relationship and it's going to be to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this person really has to learn to open up and be vulnerable with you if they are willing to make this connection work and if they are willing to keep um, yeah, your relationship alive. Um, so there's always yeah, possibilities of making something work but it requires our action as well. And last but not least, we have the card wedding. This situation involves marriage, so it is possible that maybe you're going to even um, get married to this person, yeah? Because it's going to feel so good and you're going to feel so sure of this connection. And this person, I told you, they really have um, feelings for you. And this person is really going to um, not want to play, yeah, with your feelings or like your heart no they are going to want the real deal and i see them being as someone who is very um decised yeah someone who is very um like they they make um decisions based on their own like ration yeah the uh, rational decisions yeah they take rational decisions um and they're gonna think that you're the person that they want to spend their life with um, based on their uh, reasons yeah so yeah this person is going to give you like a lot of stability and they might even ask you to get married and maybe you two are going to end up getting married um but yeah things can 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 take a turn yeah but you can always um, maybe change the situation and maybe um, things will end up working out between the two of you as long as this person is going to learn how to properly um, be open emotionally and and learn how to understand the other people's emotions as well and learn that things don't um, happen through their own way of viewing things or like their way of viewing things is not the only way, yeah? Learn to be a little bit more flexible, learn to be more open-minded, yeah? So yeah, this was your reading, pile number two. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future. Also, don't forget to click onto the notification bell to be the first one to know every single time I'm posting a new video. Also, I'm encouraging my viewers to kindly leave a comment down below because it's really going to help support and grow my channel and that will mean the world to me. And yeah, um... I'm, it was lovely to have you here and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Hi pal number three. Welcome to your reading to everyone who picked the beautiful amethyst crystal. So yeah, let's see what we have for you. Alright, so this is your reading pal number three. What I'm seeing here for you is that the person you're going to have your next relationship with is someone who is very ambitious, um, has a lot of energy, yeah, um, they're someone who just like, is always on the go-go, they like life to to happen like fast, they, they just fast forward on things, um, they just jump from one thing to another, um, they might be a little bit um, impatient at times and they also might be a little bit impulsive as well, um, they are not really thinking things through um, sometimes and they might end up um, just like bumping yeah into a wall because they just jump way too fast um, with their head first yeah without thinking things through before um, without planning yeah um, yeah sometimes it's good to sit and and think what might go wrong just to um, make sure you have a solution if things don't go as planned but um, at the same time, um, it's good that this person doesn't really overthink things. They just like jump and yeah, the idea comes into their head and they just like, they're quickly, uh, they're quick to act, yeah, um, onto the things that they uh, put their mind to and they have a lot of things that they want to achieve. They have a lot of energy and they like to just be busy, yeah, they like to 
be on the like go 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 um yeah and and they have a lot of potential they have a lot of ambition they have a lot of determination um and I, as i said they have a lot of energy to uh, back up so overall this person is someone who is definitely going to achieve a lot into their life um and from what i'm seeing here this person is quite a lot like focused on the material aspects of life um it's nothing wrong to wanting to live a comfortable life yeah but this person might be a little bit way too focused on that and they are not really focused on yeah the spiritual side of life so yeah there's someone who is really willing to communicate yeah there are someone who is quite open um to communication and 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 talk things through but they are mainly uh, communicating in a pragmatic way they are not really in tune with their own intuition yeah they're not really um it doesn't come easy to them yet to understand how other people feel or they just like don't put themselves too much in other people's shoes um they are not spending too much time yeah like observing their own feelings or like thinking about their own emotions so yeah um with that being said they are someone who is very straightforward someone who communicates in a very clear manner but um they're not focusing that much on feelings yeah this is all i have to say about that <laughs> but um overall this person is someone who is just like yeah super energe energetic someone who is very very uh, driven yeah and they just like they are someone who has a lot of potential is what i'm seeing and a lot of potential to um grow like financial abundance and i see them actually achieving that and they also have a lot of achievements yeah in their life already by now um or like by the time you're going to meet them but as i said they they are a little bit way too focused um on the material aspects of life and spirit is saying that you know it's good to also explore your uh, spiritual side here with the answer the call um, what is your soul calling you to do? So, spirit is saying that it's good to just like look inward sometimes and get in touch with that inner voice and try to understand life from a spiritual perspective and understand what is your call, yeah, what is um, the purpose, yeah, of your soul. Um, and I feel like um this relationship is going to be fated yeah maybe um the universe is going to bring you two because you two are going to really learn from each other and it's your two are going to balance each other out and you're going to learn each other things that yeah by yourselves you wouldn't be able to so you two are going to help each other grow as people and um, become better selves yeah you're you're a better version of yourselves and also what i have to say about this connection is that it's going to appear where you when you expect it uh less yeah with this ace of pentacles here i'm saying that this relationship is going to feel like it popped out of nowhere but it's going to feel like it brought you um such a huge happiness yeah such a huge joy and it's like a big surprise yeah like a big present in your life that's going to make you feel very happy and it's going to feel like a new chapter a new beginning um with this person that's going to bring you a lot of value and you're going to learn so so much from this um person and from this connection and this person is going to also have a lot to learn from you so this whole connection is fated yeah and it's fated for you two to meet and to um get together and you two are going to get into a journey of growing together yeah i'm seeing here you two leaving behind 
your previous life or previous lifestyle yeah or like previous um habits yeah that are no longer good for you and you're moving on to better things you're moving on to better experiences together you're um, moving maybe on to creating a family together um, creating a life that you love together um, maybe this relationship is going to bring you new opportunities yeah to um, to do things that you love yeah maybe as a job yeah changing your job into doing something you love or like um, changing your overall situation or maybe the place you currently live in um, changing some sort of aspect in your life that's going to help you feel like you're more living accordingly to what you love and what you um, just like enjoy yeah in life and it's going to feel like this person or this entire connection is going to bring you a lot of value and a lot of abundance yeah, into your life I really love that for you it's very positive message let's see with um, the other Oracle cards so we have here romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so yeah um, these romantic feelings um, are going to be fully explored this person is going to learn to be more open and explore their feelings and be more vulnerable um, with you so that's going to bring them a lot of value as well so yeah I love that because I feel like the two of you will show to each other um, which is your soul calling yeah for the two of you so yeah and then we have trust this situation is calling for you to have faith so this whole situation this whole relationship it's probably going to have its own challenges yeah and the message here is to have trust because this connection is going to bring a lot of value and it's a very um, positive and meaningful one so it requires to have trust in each other and that this uh, relationship is going to work out for the best and then we have here it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so as i said this relationship might come when you least expect it um but the message here is to have trust and also to understand that it's safe to love it's okay to open your heart and and give and receive love and this message might be for them as well because um as i said they're not someone who is very um focused on their emotional uh, side but when it comes to love um you really need to learn to open your heart so yeah this is the message for you pile number three i really love it if you enjoyed as well make sure to hit like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future and also don't forget to click onto the notification bell to be the first one to know every single time i'm posting a new video i'm also kindly asking my viewers to leave a comment down below because it really helps uh, grow and support my channel which means the world to me and yeah it was lovely to have you here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one take care now bye bye